All right, guys, the Iceman here on the Jeffrey Rose YouTube channel. Um, I watched Monday Night Raw. I think it was a pretty much of an average show. I thought the main event with Cena and Randy Orton was excellent. Um, but it's unfortunate because um, throughout the throughout the night, you can hear the crowd chanting CM Punk, CM Punk. Um, and the thing, the thing of it is, I mean, Orton and Cena did have a great match. Cena ended up winning the match, which a lot of us pretty much knew he probably would uh, because it wasn't for the belt. But um, um, I, I just honestly think the fans are tired of seeing um, some of the, the older guys um, really wrestling in the main events. Um, Triple H gave Daniel Bryan the night off. And um, truthfully, I don't know what Triple H and, and a lot of the upper echelon of the WWE are thinking. Daniel Bryan has been so popular ever since last year at SummerSlam when he beat John Cena. Um, they're holding him back. It's almost like they, you know, they don't want him at the top. Um, now, as far as the WWE goes, I mean, take advantage of this situation. When you got a guy that's that popular, I mean, utilize him. Give him the title. Let him run with it. And let him, you know, I mean, it, it, it would be so much more exciting for the fans. But instead, we're seeing the boring, egotistic, egotistical Randy Orton, whom I've really never liked. Um, he is a good wrestler, uh, but um, he is one of Triple H's buddies, as well as Batista in the New Age Outlaws. Um it's almost like the WWE is bringing back the past. And um, it's unfortunate because, you know, it won't be long from now when there's a lot of the the big guys that are going to be gone. And uh, who are they going to have to replace them? I mean, they are pushing the Shield. They are pushing the Wyatts. But they are holding Daniel Bryan back. Um, as far as CM Punk goes, um, a lot of people don't care that he's gone. But, you know... He is number two in merchandise selling as far as clothing goes. Uh, obviously, the top seller has been John Cena. It's been John Cena for I don't know how long. Um, and it's unfortunate. You know, the fans, you know, Cena gets a lot of booze when he's in main events. And it's only because people are just tired of seeing him up top. So what the WWE should do before John Cena gets too old is, you know, keep him out of the main event picture and maybe a year or so, and then, you know, let him have another good run. Um, I mean, John does deserve that. Uh, he's earned his way to the top. Um, John should go out on top. Again, as far as CM Punk goes, his main thing was, you know, Batista coming in as, you know, just comes back. He wins a rumble, and he main events WrestleMania, which, you know, all CM Punk ever wanted to do was main event WrestleMania just once. And, you know, for a guy that was champion for 434 days, he never got that opportunity. And I think it's time for the WWE to start paying back the superstars, you know, that have done so much for them. And, you know, and honestly start utilizing the younger guys because, you know, it's getting to the point now where, um, People just don't want to see the Batistas, the John Cena's, the Randy Orton's of the world. And, uh, you know, and it's like as far as Brock Lesnar goes, hey, if you don't want to sign like a six to eight month year contract, don't sign the son of a bitch at all. Because he's only there for the money. He dictates when he's going to be on TV. Um, I mean, yeah, he's a draw. Um, and The Undertaker's the same way. I know a lot of people are big Undertaker fans, but yeah. He's going to come back after Chamber, and he's going to have a feud for WrestleMania, and we won't see him again. I mean, enough is enough. Vince, you need to start taking hold of the reins once again. You you always had a great insight on talent. Uh, you need to decide, you know, what you need to do. Um, I think you've given Triple H the opportunity. I think he's really failed. Um, I don't know if there's a dislike for Daniel Bryan in the company. Uh, but you're not going to get rid of the popularity of Brian, so you might as well take advantage of that situation. Um, 
And the other thing, too, I want to talk about real quick is, um, as far as the shield goes, uh, utilize Roman Reigns um, and do it the right way. I think Roman Reigns can be the next top major uh, champion in the WWE. Um, but, you know, us fans see this, and it just seems like management in the, within the WWE looks at it another way. I don't know um, what uh, gives them their decisions or how they make their decisions. But, um, you know, things to me aren't going all that great. I think WWE is mediocre right now. Um, a lot of times, you know, if I don't see Raw, I don't really care. And it was a, there was a point in time when I couldn't wait for Monday night to see Raw. Um, but it's gotten to the point now where it's just very, very mediocre. And it's unfortunate. Um, I've lost a lot of uh, interest in the wrestling business as of late. And uh, so it's been really hard-pressed to, to come up with um, some ideas to make some good videos. But, um, yeah. So I don't know, guys. Yeah, I'm, you know, I still have problems with my voice and stuff. Um, but I'm, you know, hoping to get back to full action within the next week or two and, and start making my usual round of videos. But, um, you know, until then, I mean, you know, I'll continue to watch the WWE, but, I mean, they need to make some changes. The corporate's been around way too long, and I think they've actually hurt the company now. I think in the beginning they were okay. They brought a lot of buzz, a lot of attention, but for now, I just think, I mean, I'm tired of seeing Triple H and Stephanie come out. I'm tired of seeing, you know, Kane come out and interfere with a match, you know, and I'm tired of seeing Randy Orton, period. Um, so that's the bottom line. So uh, start pushing the younger guys, um, you know, keep some of the older guys, you know, have them, you know, with less exposure and uh, build up the younger guys because Vince, you better start thinking because in a few more years, your older stars are going to be gone and you're going to have absolutely nothing. And I think if you let Triple H con continue to uh, maintain a lot of control within the WWE, I think he's going to run it into the ground. Those are my thoughts. Those are my opinions. You know, I know there's a lot of those out there that will disagree, but um, that's how I feel. So peace out, everybody, and have a great Wednesday.